The late 1950s were a golden era for sci-fi and horror films, many of which captured the imaginations of audiences with their thrilling stories and eerie atmospheres. One version that stood out was the Trollenberg Terror, also known in the United States as The Crawling Eye. Released in 1958, this British film combined elements of both genres to deliver a chilling narrative that has since become a cult classic. The film begins with a series of mysterious deaths and disappearances on the Swiss mountain of Trollenberg. A trio of climbers faces an inexplicable terror high on the mountain, their bodies later discovered with their heads missing, hinting at something far more sinister than a mere accident. This sets the stage for a story filled with suspense and creeping dread. Forrest Tucker stars as Alan Brooks, a United Nations troubleshooter who is summoned to Trollenberg to investigate the strange occurrences. Brooks, a rugged and determined character, is no stranger to bizarre phenomena, having previously encountered similar incidents in the Andes. His experience and stoic demeanor make him the perfect protagonist to face the terrifying events that unfold. Brooks arrives in Trollenberg alongside journalist Philip Truscott, played by Lawrence Payne. The two men quickly become embroiled in the mystery, their investigation leading them to a small hotel in the village at the mountain's base. Here, they meet Anne and Sarah Pilgrim, sisters with a psychic connection played by Janet Munro and Jennifer Jane. And, the younger sister, begins to have disturbing visions linked to the strange occurrences on the mountain, further deepening the intrigue. As the group delves deeper into the mystery, they uncover that the source of the terror is an alien entity hiding in the clouds covering the mountain peak. These aliens, resembling giant, disembodied eyes with tentacles, are responsible for the gruesome deaths and have a chilling ability to reanimate the dead. The special effects, while modest by today's standards, effectively create a sense of horror and unease, particularly given the film's atmospheric black-and-white cinematography. The tension escalates as the aliens begin to descend from the mountain, targeting the villagers and the hotel occupants. Brooks, Truscott, and the Pilgrim sisters must work together to survive and find a way to stop the alien menace. The film's climax is a thrilling and desperate battle against the seemingly unstoppable creatures, culminating in a dramatic and explosive showdown. The Trollenberg Terror stands out for its effective use of atmosphere and suspense. Director Quentin Lawrence, who also directed the original television series on which the film is based, expertly builds tension through the isolated mountain setting and the relentless, creeping threat of the alien creatures. The film's score, composed by Stanley Black, adds to the eerie mood, enhancing the overall sense of dread. Forrest Tucker's performance as Alan Brooks anchors the film, providing a strong and steady presence amid the chaos. His character's unwavering determination and courage are crucial in the fight against the aliens, making him a classic sci-fi hero. Janet Munro's portrayal of an pilgrim also shines, her character's psychic abilities adding a unique and compelling element to the story. While the Trollenberg Terror may not have achieved the same level of fame as some other sci-fi and horror films of its time, it has earned a lasting place in the genre's history. Its blend of science fiction, horror, and psychological suspense creates a memorable and engaging experience for viewers. The film's enduring appeal lies in its ability to evoke genuine fear and suspense, making it a beloved classic among fans of vintage sci-fi and horror cinema. In summary, The Trollenberg Terror is a captivating and chilling film that showcases the best elements of 1950s sci-fi and horror. With strong performances, particularly by Forrest Tucker, and a compelling storyline, it continues to enthrall audiences with its tale of alien terror on a remote mountain. The film remains a testament to the creativity and imagination of the era, a must-watch for enthusiasts of classic genre cinema.